Hey detectives, it's Jetpack back with another Sims build based on the Nancy Drew's PC series by Her Interactive. This time around, we are tackling a build from Nancy Drew Mystery of the Seven Keys. Recently, Her Interactive announced that the game will be released on May 7th, and that is so, so soon. I cannot wait to get my hands on a copy, but until then, I'm using reference pictures from all the different social media blasts that Her Interactive have put out. And the location that they have shown the most so far is the cafe. Now, I have no idea how to say the name of this cafe, so I'm just gonna call it the cafe until I hear it pronounced. If anybody has like a fanatic spelling for me, I would super appreciate it. Because let me tell you, the pronunciation that my English brain tells me to do is a profanity. <laughs> but this video, we're gonna focus on the exterior of the build. And the exterior is what we see the least of. We see clips of it in the holiday ambience video that Her Interactive put out. And we see bits and pieces of it kind of far off in the different videos they've put out as well. There was a video that had development and test images, and I relied on that pretty heavily for this build. So the most European neighborhood in The Sims is Windenburg, and it doesn't exactly fit the vibe of what we've seen in the trailer, but it'll have to do. It's pretty close and it's cute. So I started with the general shape that's in these development and test images. The front left corner is a little funky, so I just squared that off. So in game, the cafe is surrounded by a couple different buildings, but I just have it as a freestanding structure in my build. And I'm assuming that it's going to be two floors, like most of the other buildings in the square from the trailer. The trailer, the building looks kind of brownish, but this was the closest stone I could get to what was in the trailer. One of the main reasons I don't live stream my builds is because I'm very indecisive and very picky about what I put into it. So I'll go back and forth between like three different doors over and over again until I feel like it fits the vibe. But anyway, I put these cute little patio tables and chairs out just like we see in the test images. And then I ended up building my own planters. I didn't see anything that fit perfectly with what I wanted, so I just built it. I filled in the bottom with a bush just so it looks more full. And a big part of landscaping in The Sims is to layer it over and over again so that it doesn't look perfect and it doesn't look uniform. Things in real life don't grow like they do in The Sims. So by rotating bushes and alt placing them, it gives it a more real life feel. But in the test images and video, the planters surround the cafe. So that's what I did. And I ended up scooching the building over a bit. It just felt weird putting it right in the middle. And that way I could do more with the side, like put in a busing station. I also ended up adding a lot of things we don't see in test images or the trailer. It was just looking too bland without more. So I added a menu and like a hostess station, some ivy, things like that. I forgot to show you guys the other side, but there's like a bulletin board and some signage over there. It's not totally blank. <laughs> I'm really interested in seeing the exterior in more detail when I get access to the game. What do you think? Did I do it justice? I think overall it's a really cute cafe. Of course it's not totally accurate to what we've seen so far, but it's a good attempt. I'm happy with it. If you haven't seen my other Sims builds based on the Nancy Drew series, go check those out. We also stream on Twitch, we have an Instagram, and a TikTok. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!